Right, I'm actually standing on a little barrow at the moment. There's, like I said, there's loads of them up here. Something I might not have noticed before when I was walking by. But here's a little barrow and I, I bet you anything, a few people probably have their ashes scattered here. I wouldn't be surprised. Does that's why the, is that why the flies are attracted, do you think? Are they attracted to ashes? Little stones place. It could be people are do get put here. You know? It's a lovely place to be put. I wouldn't mind this place myself. To be put up here with the ancients. I've said Glastonbury though. Glastonbury is special. But it's different. This is better, I think, to be quite honest. I don't know really. I've told everyone last night if I can change my mind because it what well, I don't know really. This place is special. I can't get over to Glastonbury very often. It's difficult to get to without a vehicle. There's Dowsbury Hill Fort, look, that big lump there. It's got loads of features you mightn't think so from looking at um, the outside. I mean, Whirlbury are so keen to clear all the trees and everything, but that one protects the features beneath the trees. They're very evident, all the the ditches and vallums and stuff. They don't remove the trees from there. Look at that. Beacon Hill right in the distance. And I'll be coming up through that coombe a couple of hours time. I'll be going down a little track. There's the, there's High Hernap. There's Lower Hernap. I'm doing the lower one, but first of all I'm going to walk up to the the trig point. <laughs> We're going to get out something more, to, another bit of sustenance. I'm keeping the cheese and tomato for Holford. But I feel quite relaxed that I left earlier. Because to be quite honest, now I would have arrived in the village, but I'd still be having to make my way up that big hill. I'd be, I'd be two hours behind. So I'm really glad what I've done got that earlier start. I would have done an hour earlier. Last what that was the plan for Saturday. But no, I'm sorry, it was alright getting over here. Half eight, quarter nine. It took me an hour to get to the top to the gate. But that was taking my time and also doing a bit of a wander round the village hall before I came. And I just take my time going up. I did. So this is Sheila on her beautiful Quantock Hills on the 8th of August 2022. I expect it could be easy, half past 10 now. I'll have a look when we get to the trick point at the time. Just not because I'm going to be time crazy, just to sort of see how well I've done because I haven't rushed. I never tend to rush the starts of my walks anyway. Right over there now is the Hurley Beacon that I stood on a few moments ago. Just over there, look. And then if we zoom around, I just stood on a a tinier one there. And there's lots of those around. And this beautiful Somerset. And all these marching routes that the armies, the Saxon armies would have used. Macmillan Way. That's a later name, of course. The Macmillan Way was given that name for people who are raising money for cancer. It was, I think, it was something called the Great Road. It's uh, one of its one of its earlier names. It's still on the map as well. So, yeah, marching routes. You just let, have to let your imagination go and imagine them camping over there. Apparently there was a battle over there as well. I think Alfred the Great was out here as well. And here's the trick point. This is Black Hill. 
wish to black kill everyone. And in the distance you can see what's called Great Wood, the tall pine trees. A bit like what you've got over Robo Warren. Tall landscaped pine trees. And uh, over near West Bagborough and all that sort of thing, Lydiard Hill. I don't go, I'm not too keen so much on that area. Very, very landscaped and shaped and sculptured by man. Here's the trip point. I'm just going to do a little video while I'm here. This is Sheila in the beautiful Somerset countryside, everybody. Yeah, I've got my hat on. I've managed to get up Crocombe from the village of Crocombe before the real heat. There's a nice breeze. Surrounded by absolute beauty, everybody. It's supposed to be a heat wave this week. And in theory, I'd like to be out camping in my tent, my new tent. Never know yet. I might, might sort something out in the week. I'm thinking strongly about it before the rail strike. Right. There's my hat. Need that today. So we're now going to head for Lower Hernap and Holford for the picnic on the bench. Then up through the glen, then down through Weakham, and then we'll see what happens after that. Somewhere near Bicknoller at the end. Right, I'm just going to go down to this track here, and I'm going to pick up the naps. I did do, I don't, well, within the last, I reckon I've done higher hair nap this year. I know I did Downsbury Hill for what. Uh, anyway, I've done it within the last year. I've done it within the last 12 months. Higher hair nap, I know I have. But I haven't done lower hair nap for a bit. So I'm going to do lower hair nap. Look at that lovely fort, with all its features that are hidden underneath the greenery. And here we've got a number of pathways leading you to car parks. Sometimes there's an, even an ice cream van there. Look at this gorgeous view. There's the trick point. I'll just take a picture of it a minute from here. Wait a minute. All right, folks. I don't know what video this is, but I'm on my way down towards Lower Hair Nap. There are other routes, as you can see there's a path coming down that way. And that's Higher Hair Nap going up there. Downsborough Hill Fort and Hinkley Point. Um, that's higher hair nap. Thank God for that. God, I'm so relieved this path is here. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Take some more photos. And then we've got higher hair nap, lower hair nap. Feeling that's what's called Somerton Coombe there. <sighs> Very ticky fight all around here now, see. <sighs> because you go near there, that'd be a ticker or an adder, I'll have you. Gotta look out for the deer as well. 
What have we turned off yet? Look at that lovely coom down there, there. At the speed of it. Right, folks. That's Somerton Coom there. And you'd feel, if I went on a little bit further, I could find a path which goes along, and it's like a little fringe there, goes along there and takes you down into Somerton Coombe. But I think it'll be quite overgrown. It's very, very peaceful. It's very, very pretty. Um, but I'm going to leave that one for the win later in the year. beautiful this isn't it? This is a beautiful, beautiful coom indeed. I'm glad that the camera is holding out for this stage of the walk because I've done Holford quite a few times this year already so this I don't do very often. Now I don't do this quite as often. I could have actually joined this slower hair nap further up back there, but I decided I wanted to come from the the start of it. And the reason I like doing this is because I met she was called Jill. This um old lady in early 80s I believe. She used to wear loads and loads of gear to protect her from ticks. She's a real hardy old bird. And uh, I used to have quite a lot of chats with her. I even walked partly with her at times. And she, we, she was always friendly and chatted to me. I just wondered if she's still coming out because of the COVID. I haven't seen her since, well, a couple of years now, actually, because I mean, we weren't coming out here during the Covid, you, you can, I couldn't get out here. I only started coming out here well it could have been 2020 I definitely came out January 2020 so that was the last trip, one of the last trips I had with Alberta it was January the 10th 2020 then she was sold Then I had to find other ways. Yeah, I did come out here. I started working out that I could get a train and a bus. Uh, 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 and, and that's what I did. I got a train and a bus. And, um, It's interesting to pick someone up, see if there's not many people walking around, it gives you something to focus on. This is quite overgrown, but this is where you quite likely see an adder. Right, I'll do it right over now. The camera's starting to play up. It seems to get overheated very quickly. And um, I've had to put the battery charger on. So I'll do a little vid video as we're going along Lower Hair Nap. Like I said, I videoed Holford lots of times, so it won't matter if I have to use the inferior camera or give this one a prolonged rest until we get to Holford. If it goes off again, it went off then. I had to take the battery out and put it back in again. What it is, I'm charging up. Um, I'm charging up using the charger. <sighs> I'm using the charger as I go along and it does actually use more battery when you use it as you as it should be in charge. I haven't seen those two people since, but it could be they've branched off because there are other ways down towards um, Downsborough Hill for it. I have seen a warden on one of their little vehicles going along. They probably look out for us. 
they probably even got drones because it, uh, people can suffer with heat stroke now this is the cooler of the days of the week anyway there's um, a carn area but on the lower hair nap which I'm on we go round it like that or you can get a path and go up the top and go up to the top the last time I went up there it was just riddled with people so I didn't, no, no, I didn't stay very long but I'm gonna stay on the lower one and later we will be down in the coom there I'll be down there not this coom this is a summerton coom we'll be in the one further over beyond slaughterhouse coom That breeze is just right, you know. It's cool. It's a cool breeze. Now this little spot here with a hump is where Jill, this old rambler hiker lady, she uh, she always stays here, sits here for her picnic. This is her little break area here. A lovely place as well. I don't tend to sit down. I know I'll get tick bites. Um, there is also, also, of course, if you want to go to higher hair nap now, go up there. If you want to go down into Somerton Coombe, go down there. I'm not doing either today. I'm keeping to the high one today. They can all be done another time. I haven't done this for a long time, this one, so I'm doing it today. I'm not going up, I'm not going down, staying on this path. Right round, right round. Are you still with me everyone or are you asleep? How bumpy and jumpy is it? I've got no idea when I'm walking along. I notice it when I look at it myself, I think, oh god, that's jumpy, sweaty, still a record in time folks on the 8th of August 2022, that's Somerton Coombe, I've just walked right the way around from a small tree up there, I've been all the way up to the trig point, up on the hill there has probably the ranger, He'll have strong binoculars and he's keeping an eye on people like me, walkers, out today in this heat. You'll see I've got a hat on. You'll see I've got water in my pocket. It's not only that, they've got to keep look out for a fire risk. Um, they deliberately burn some of the Quantox. I can't remember why they do it, but they, they, they do burn bits of it every year. It rotates the burning. I suppose it sterilizes the soil, kills the ticks off. I can't remember why they do it. And um, But it can be tinder dry the, as the bracken, as you can see, look at that bracken. The old bits of bracken and dry grass in there. If a fire went up now, it'd be a bushfire. It wouldn't be very good. So they keep, they've got people out just fire patrol. And that's what he is up on the hill there. He's just doing... He was walking along me, he probably spotted me and a couple other people walking about. People in the coombs are cooler anyway, but when you're up here, you definitely need your hat on. Definitely need your hat on. 
I hope you're enjoying this walk with me everyone I'm trying to hold the camera still but it's very bumpy not a snake in sight no I don't think I'll ever see one they hear me coming see they can hear the vibrations of your feet as well Look at that though, isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to take a picture.